I'm Corbin Haber. Um, I graduated from Alito High School in Texas and I am currently taking Collision. I've also taken Chassis Fab and once I graduate Collision and Finishing, I'm planning on taking Street Rod afterwards. So a few things we have in the shop. Right here is our car aligner. Um, it's one of the more state-of-the-art pieces of equipment. You'll see a car aligner in a lot of your collision shops. Right now what they're doing, if we come to the back side of this Jeep, So right here, this Jeep is uh, one of the instructors. It got hit at 50 miles an hour while it was sitting still. And what this machine is designed to do is we can take measurements from multiple different points across the entire frame. We can figure out where it's pulled out and how we need to pull the vehicle back into square. Um, being hit at 50 miles an hour, I think it tweaked the frame two and a half inches into a diamond. So then you have to figure out how to pull that diamond out and back to original. As we keep going through the shop, um, you'll see most of the vehicles in here are comp vehicles. It's what we practice on and instead of working on your own vehicle to make all your mistakes, you get to do it on free vehicles. Uh, so right here we have a GT Skyline. It is uh, another student's and it actually had previous um, body work done to it. And once it got moved up here, all the paint started cracking and you could actually see where it wasn't repaired properly. Um, so hopefully by the end of today, it'll actually look um, and match all the same contour lines. As we move down the shop, you can tell uh, some of these doors are not the same color. So one of our comps is actually to take the existing door skin off and then we turn around and we put a brand new door skin back on. Uh, a few of the things you learn with that is one, we're matching all the same body lines. So this aftermarket door skin is going to look the same as the original ones all back to OEM standards including all of your adhesives, your rivets, and even spot welds that you might have had to take out. Part of our comps are to remove panels um, like this is the back trunk on our PT cruisers and you can also see where we were given dents and we had to go through and pull the dents out restore that, put body filler over it, no more than an eighth inch. And then now when you run your hand across, it feels just like the original. Right here, someone's working on a rocker panel sectioning. Now, for me personally, this was one of the coolest projects to do. Definitely took the most time. So what you do is you go through and you'll section out both sides of your rocker. And it's kind of doing like a collision replacement. So if you get hit on the side, instead of replacing the entire body, you'll go through and you'll section out what parts are damaged. You'll fix that piece, adds your inserts, as she's doing right now, she's welding it all back into place. You'll grind it, you'll put your body filler back on so it all feels as the original. And then where the best part is, is your instructors get a really big smile. They grab the biggest sledgehammer in the shop and they take about seven hits onto your rocker panel. We'll find a good one down here. And then right there, like he's working on a dent right now that we have gotten from one of our instructors with a, a good hammer. And hopefully within the next little bit, that'll be restored, feel just like brand new. Now, as we keep working our way through, um, you'll see a bunch of hoods throughout the place. We do a lot of bolt on um, for your comp vehicles. We end up taking off the hoods, the trunks, um, all the doors, including the whole insides and even down to window replacement. So this will be our chemical table. It's got all of our body fillers and all of our sandpaper, grease remover. And then at the end of applying all of our body filler, we come back, we have a jar of acetone and we start cleaning off our board so we're ready for our next step. One of the reasons I chose Collision is because welding and fabrication has been my background since before I got here. And Collision's one of the only cores that you actually get a weld in. And a lot of the welding we do in here is super complex. You're on super thin material in all positions and you're certifying with iCar, so we're running four inch speeds. Hey, you can see there's a couple people working on their comps right now and getting through a lot of their welds. So you do collision for 12 weeks and then we move into refinishing, which is basically a lot of paint work for another 12 weeks. Uh, this is also one of the reasons I signed up for this class. Uh, I built a lot of trailers in high school and I always had to paint them myself, but I never actually knew how to professionally do it. I think it turned out okay, but in here you'll really learn how to bring things back to specs. 
Uh, so right now in here, we're redoing all the walls. So as you spray, you're not going to get paint on the walls, but it's just going to stick to some plastic. Um, here we have some really fancy equipment. Um, instead of stirring anything by hand, we actually have a whole rack that's connected that stirs all your primers, all your solvents, and everything together. Um, definitely one of the coolest pieces of equipment that I've seen. And what's super great is this is all for us. So a lot of those comp cars you saw back there, after we do the body work, we actually will pull these into the paint booth and we'll actually get to paint them. So not only are you restoring all your body work and that's gonna be perfect, but then you get to restore your OEM paints and it should look the same as the original. So it almost looked like we never touched the cars. And the school provides 100% of all the equipment we need. And uh, the only thing I have to do when, like when I go to paint my bumpers is just pay for the paint that I used. So that's gonna be one of the coolest parts when I get in here in the next phase that I'm really looking forward to.